We took the time and effort to have a uh, fabric woven, especially for the shows. The main point was to recreate the colors as a traditional and as authentic as, as possible. A lot of the knit pieces you'll see on our characters came from little weavers on little islands in Scotland, and they're the descendants and the inheritors of the fabric traditions of Scotland. Colin Brown, uh, managing director of Anthony Haynes Textiles, and we're here standing outside um, the mill in Selkirk, which is in the borders of Scotland. We have our, our mill across the road here with 12 looms, four of which are daub cross looms, which go back to 1929 and are still working uh, today. And we have eight high speed looms, which are a lot quicker than the old daub cross looms. Initially, Outlander came to us and they obviously have done their research. They knew that the colours they wanted were the vegetable dyes that were used back in, in, in the days. So with that, you're restricted to a very small palette of colours. And as you can see on, on the loom, we've got browns and we've got heathers, um, which are, are obviously recreated from the natural dyes that they would have had back in the 17th century. You know, what you and I think of probably in, in popular culture as a Scottish kilt or a tartan is typically uh, very bright reds or yellows or greens. But in truth, those particular colors and patterns came about in the 19th century. In this period, in the 1700s, uh, the fabrics were woven locally and the dyes that they used were vegetable dyes and they were colors meant to sort of camouflage people. We try to be authentic to that time because we don't want this to be a production where we're sexing it up or we're, we're changing it because we want more fans. We want to be true to the book and, and be as authentic to this time as possible. We start off here with the bank. And the bank is where all of the cones for a particular tartan go onto the bank. We could have anything from four colors up to seven colors. And we have a, a template, a, a map, if you like, where it tells us where each cone should go. So on here, you can see we've got blacks, greens, blues. So these one, two, three, four colors are gonna make up the particular tartan that's been woven at the moment. Each cone has to get threaded through the eyelet, which then goes onto the warping wheel. And if you follow me this way, I'll show you where the warping wheel is. They've got this amazing mill, all of our cones of all the different colors and watching it being woven. And it's, it really is, you know, you are back in the 19th century and it's quite fascinating to see it still, it still happens. Here we are, this is the, the warping creel. We've shown you what's happened with the bank. The threads come through there. They go onto this bit of kit here, which is called the heck, and the threads then get, get fed through the heck onto the reed, which then winds it, and it, it separates all the threads to, to put them onto the, the warping creel equally. Um, as you can see, the threads are all lined up. You can see the pattern, and the tartan starts to take shape. So this, this is a finished tartan that, that has been warped and is now ready to be wound on to the beam here. This is called a beam, and basically it's just taking it from the warping wheel and putting it onto the beam. On this one beam, you can put, you can put six tartans onto one beam, or you can possibly put eight tartans, but six is normally what we work to. That completes the warp, and that's, you've got your, your five, six different colors on there, and then we move it onto the weaving process. So we've taken it off the, the warping wheel and we'll now put it onto the loom. Same process here as we saw before. You've got the beam with the tartans on it. It gets loaded onto the, the loom. And at the end of the loom here, we've got these six big engines that have the, the, the cones going to that, the threads, which then put the, war, the weft through the loom. You can see the threads just coming through the eyes here. And that's providing the weft for the, for the tartan. So we've, we've, uh, we've taken the tartan that, that, with the warp on it on the other side. It comes through these metal um, sticks, if you like, uh, called heddles, which, which separate the, the threads. And on the other side, the, the weft comes through and the tartan, you can see, comes out the other side uh, and is, is woven onto the beam down below. You know, it's important that we get it done here and that it be made as authentically as possible. Mm -hmm. 